Hey guys, Break here, and today, whilst we open up the mail for the past week, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to make gold later on in the expansion and when the markets are dying off. Now, I'm sure most of you have noticed that we are not making gold right now, like we were at the start of the expansion, and that is always the case with every new expansion. The gold making is crazy for a bit and then it dies down, but it seems to have particularly died down in BFA for numerous reasons, and I thought we could discuss the ways in which you can carry on making gold despite these issues. But as always, the most important thing to do if you want to carry on making good gold is to actually do something you find a little bit fun. I've seen lots of gold makers on Twitter and on YouTube recently who have kind of got burnt out playing the game and a lot of them have been quitting or just, you know, lowering their playtime by quite a lot because the game burnt out. And that seems to have been a particular problem in BFA even more than other expansions and you guys just have to do stuff that you enjoy. If you really hate PvP, then don't try and grind out PvP to get the rank 3s of the blacksmithing and tailoring gear. Just leave it. Yeah, you know, it's not super necessary. You can make gold with other means. And if you don't like PvP, if you really hate it, then don't put yourself through it. Anyways, a classic thing to do if the gold making has dried up is to look at the old world items. So old world items, what do I mean by that? Stuff like the old transmogs from blacksmithing and tailoring, some of the cool old goggles from engineering, all of that kind of stuff. The stuff that usually you wouldn't think about and that sells quite slowly. But if you can get enough of those on the auction house, they have some really big profit margins. And especially now when it's so easy to get gear in BFA, the you know rates of sale for some of the blacksmithing, tailoring, leatherworking gear has not been good, at least not as good as Legion in my opinion. And I think if you just look towards the more old world items, you're going to get some good progress. And even if they don't sell that quickly, they usually sell for quite a big profit. And if you get enough of them on the auction house, like I say, then you're going to be making some sales. And it's not just cosmetic items that sell well, but it's also the items that are kind of useful. The stuff like the auto hammers from blacksmithing, etc., etc. This is the kind of stuff that a lot of people just don't craft because they kind of forget about it. They forget that it's useful, but actually they sell really, really well. And, you know, like the tomes of the tranquil mind, that kind of thing. The things that are actually useful for raiders, but that aren't stuff like PvP gear and that aren't flasks and feasts, the things that are really, really popular to make, but the things that are slightly less popular. You know, even feasts, a lot of people forget about feasts later on in the expansion, so... Always check your cooking guys, see if the feasts are profitable and if they are, definitely make a few. But things like auto hammers from engineering are a really, really good market that should never be ignored and never forgotten about. And whilst we're on the subject of cosmetic stuff, then don't forget about the pets, the mounts. They always sell good and particularly after a few months of the expansion, players you know, stop doing the crazy loads of Mythic Plus, the loads of World Quests because they've got Exalted. You know, maybe they've done their heroic raiding and they don't want to raid Mythic, so they've kind of stopped that bit. And then they start to look for other things to do in the game, and it always happens every expansion that pets and mounts start to sell more, and toys as well, because they start trying to build up their collections and doing other things that aren't the, the core of the game. So pets have been selling really good. I flipped them across server, as you can see here. But any sort of pet farming or just, you know, try and buy some pets cheap in trade chat and sell them for more. You know, they will sell a bit better than they do at the start of the expansion. At least in my experience, there's just less competition for selling them and there's a lot of people willing to buy. Now, another thing you should look into is the kind of new markets that always develop a month or two after the expansion. The new markets that maybe weren't around the previous expansion have developed and have come into focus so i'm talking about a lot of different things here but one example i think is the island expedition selling the boosts where people boost you through island expeditions to level up your characters people have like level 110 level 111 twinks who will boost island expeditions and they'll sell them for like 5k per run and the run takes five minutes so you know they can make 5,000 gold a run or 60,000 gold in an hour, just boosting someone to level them through island expeditions. It's not super innovative, people have done boosting like that before, but obviously since the islands are new, 
uh, it is a new market and there's not that many people doing it so on your server if there's no one doing it you can start trying to sell them and maybe you can get quite a bit of gold you know I've seen people selling them for 8 or 10k per run so you know maybe even 100k an hour which would be really really nice obviously you've got to set up the twink and do all that but there are guides on that and you know it's just one example of an innovative and new way that you can look at for making gold where maybe the current markets have been dying down you need something else and that could be an option for you another way of making gold that doesn't really lose its profitability throughout the whole expansion is of course flipping in fact I think flipping gets even better the further along in the expansion you go and the reason for that is just there's so much less competition on the auction house if you think about it the main problem with flipping is if someone comes along with the same item as you and just undercuts you now I just bought out the splatter guards for 10k and I've relisted them for 30k but then someone else comes along and sells them for 20 and I immediately have to undercut them or buy them out and then we get into this big undercut war and it's just bad but because there's a lot less people posting on the auction house flipping is a lot more profitable because you can corner certain markets and you can really start to control the prices now I've done lots of videos on flipping in the past which you can check out on YouTube but if you are new to flipping I wouldn't start off trying to do things like BOEs which is what I do and which is what I'm looting in these videos to make a lot of gold but I would look at certain other methods of flipping particularly flipping BFA materials flipping old world materials maybe even flipping flasks or feasts but materials are probably better and you know just doing pretty stacking buying out all the stacks of 7, 1, 3 all the weird stacks and then relisting them in a stack of 20 for a lot more you know again because there's so much less competition on the auction house even though there's less people buying the ones who do buy just want a quick purchase they're going to go down to see you and they'll buy out your higher stack even though it's worth more or even though you have put it up for more so just doing some pretty stack flipping like I say I've done videos on that before is a really easy way to get started with the gold making and of course once you're more experienced with flipping you can try your hand in the bigger items such as mounts or BOEs because that's where the big money is always at and I think that's a really great thing but in general guys even the raw gold making is probably a good shout at this point in an expansion if you have an enchanter which you probably should because they are a great profession especially when markets aren't doing so good you can just go around and do content and because you've already got gear there's so much stuff to disenchant and you get so many crystals which are still selling for like a thousand gold the veil crystals so they're still really really good particularly with blizzard adding more and more ways to get gear in the game pvp the new azerite stuff from the world quest it's going to be really good if you have enchanting and you should have enchanting anyway because time of illusions always so well even at this point in the expansion when maybe some other enchants aren't selling so good you can still get a real nice amount of stuff from the tome of illusions so i definitely check those out if you haven't been with enchanting and i have seen that blizzard are looking at giving you more gold for emissary caches so running around with enchanting doing your stuff just playing the game is going to be a good shout throughout the expansion as it always is but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this little video I just looted 2.2 million gold this week so not quite as good as last week but I have been away for a few days to be fair and it's still going strong and I did make a lot of investments that hopefully when they sell will make me some big gold but that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching and until next time see ya